<clears throat> Hello there, and welcome back to International Fathers. I'm your host, Nelson Moody Sr. Today we are talking about the impact a father has on his child or children. The impact that he put on them and had them to follow behind his example. So that a child can be the best that they can be in the society. But for my guest here, we're going to talk about the impact of a father coming from his point of view. From my point of view, impact is huge. Extremely huge. It goes as far as you lead by example, talking to your children or child. Right. Throughout that day, being in that life, being in that life as if it was your life, because you're right. living through them in a sense. Um, it's definitely every day, all day, 24/7. It's extremely important to try to have the best impact in their life as possible. Now, when children get older and they become adults, of course they're gonna follow their own path. They're gonna eventually do their own thing. Right. The only thing you can do is do the best in that upbringing, and it starts early. It mm -hmm. definitely starts early. You're right about that, bro. Within the first five years, doc, most doctors say the first five years, the most important years for their brain development. Now, with that being said, brain development, remembering things, you teach them early. Start early. And I, from my own experience, it definitely works. And they definitely do understand what you're saying. Within those first five years, you have to stay on them. The impact is a huge thing. So then, so then, what you're saying is that it's crucial those first five informative years of a child's life. You shaping and you molding and you grinding them to just create something that you can be proud to say, "That's my child one day. That's my son. That's my daughter." Exactly. It's extremely crucial. Those first five years are more important than the next five and the five after that. Because if you wait too long to, as I like to say, nip it in the bud, right? it'll be too late. It'll be even harder to try to get them back on track. If you start out from day one of them understanding you, communicating with them when they're young, if you start off from day one, then they won't know anything else but to do right. Because that's what you're teaching them. They won't know wrong. Children are innocent. And it's Very their much. nature to be innocent. Right. We teach them wrong. And like I said earlier, it's also a huge part is leaning by example. Don't sit here and say, mm -hmm. don't curse around my daughter or son. And then you go home and you're letting them watch TV with curse words in them. Right. You're right. cursing on the phone. Right. Because children pick up on everything. 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 When you're, they, when you're not paying attention, they're definitely paying attention. So it's imperative that you be mindful of your actions and the actions of other people you let around your children. Woo! That's a big one there. Yep. Some people take it personal, but I say, hey, you know, this child is my responsibility. The Lord has blessed me with this honor to raise another life, a human being. That's a scary thing because you can really mess that up. Yeah. You can yeah, go left, you can yeah. go right, you can go up, you can go down. Just lead by example. Do the best that you right. can do because there's no book written on fatherhood that as far as a book meaning an instructional manual, do this on day one, this on day right. two, right this on that. day three. It's a lot of trial and error. And a lot of it is from the fathers before me, you, right. learning a lot from you. Right. Passing it on down. Right, right. So, 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 so then it is safe to say that this child, whether it be a boy or a girl, you are responsible for this human being. This human being is dependent on you. This human being, if it needs a bottle, they feel she needs their diaper change. They're depending on you. They want something to eat. They're depending on you. And as they're growing and starting to walk and crawl, making mistakes and tripping, they look at you to see if you'll help them out 
or to see if you'll just let them stand there and just not do nothing at all. But they're looking at you. They're watching you. Definitely. Like a hawk. All day, mm -hmm. every day. And they learn pretty quickly. Right. Especially if you're still on top of them. It may be hard because it's your child and you don't want to see your child hurt when you have the discipline of sometimes. But sometimes, as my stepdad said, you have to run boot camp. You got to do <laughs> what you have to do. That don't mean abuse your children. But you got to do what you have to do to get your message across. Just Lord forbid, you don't, you get lazy, they get older, and you're wondering, why is my child talking to me this way? Why my child doesn't listen to me? Right. Why is my child not paying attention? You want to try to also build, with this impact, a good, healthy relationship with your child or children. And now within building that relationship will develop a huge respect for you. Mm -hmm. A huge respect and that'll be the little voice that goes off in their head. Right. Daddy said don't do that. And they'll remember that. They'll remember that. When you stay on top of them, Daddy said don't mm -hmm. do that. Daddy doesn't like when I do that. Mm -hmm. You know, so stand on top of them, you know, and just, you know. Right. Prayer always helps. Right. So then, so then, so, so then with respect to prayer, train up a child and the way they should go. So when they get old, they won't depart. What's scripture, the, right? Scripture. The scripture. Now, like I said, it's not 100% foolproof. You do have some children that are going to do what they want to do. But as long as you can say, you know what? We prayed. I did the best I knew how to do. That's it. What more can you really ask for? And I believe that if you really in your heart of hearts, right, do the best that you can do, and starting from an early age, they're not going to stray too far away from you. Oh, no. Life. No. They're not going to stray too no. far away. No. Because, like like you said, something will always go in their mind. Daddy said, Daddy said, don't do this. Exactly. Daddy said, don't talk to strangers. Exactly. No, my daddy said, I can't do this. No, I got to be home by a certain time. My daddy said this. My daddy said that. Exactly. And for you fathers out there around the world, you know what I'm talking about. Yep. But Daddy said, and there's nothing more than just good structural discipline. Yep. Guidance. Yep. Leadership. Mm -hmm. And any other word that you may have out there that talks about impacting your child or children in a positive way, in a positive manner. Just a quick story I want to share. Um, I never met my father when I was born. His laws, not mine. Okay. I always knew my spiritual father. Never met my biological father. My mom married a guy. He took me under his wing as if I was his son. And still to this day, they're not together. But okay. I still look at him like my dad. He still was there for me when they weren't there like my dad. Right. And when I was growing up, I had a lot of chores, a lot of responsibility mm -hmm. as far as extensive cleaning daily, studying right. daily, uh weekends, there was no such thing as going outside until the chores were done. As far as cleaning trash cans okay. outside, dumping them out, bringing them back in. <laughs> and my friends and cousins would make fun of me, but you know what? Now, today, sitting here at the age of 23, I'm more successful than a lot of them. And I think I can attribute that to my dad because he kept me on the straightened path. It wasn't at the time, I didn't understand why is he making me do all this cleaning? Why okay. is he making me not go outside? Okay. I want to play with them. They're outside. They're doing what they want right. to do. He was instilling discipline in me. Discipline. Discipline. The discipline to know that you have to do what you have to do in order to do what you want to do. Discipline. Discipline. <laughs> Getting somebody to do what you want them to do. Guidance. Leadership. Determination, impact a father has on a child or children. This is International Fathers. I'm Nelson Amudi Senior, the creator of it. And remember, fathers hug those children, children hug those fathers. Fathers call those children, children call those fathers. Until next time.